just super fun. I have said realization. <laughs> Fuck it, like happy start of retrograde season, everyone. I know, I know you guys have caught me slacking. Thank you for being patient. I just wanted to take like a minute out of the vlog to kind of just explain what's been happening and why the uploads have kind of slowed down. I went on vacation and even though that was supposed to be a break, you know, I still did a pretty big vlog for that. It still felt, you know, like I wasn't completely switched off. And as you guys know from our last couple of trips, like when you see me and Kyle go on vacation, we don't do a lot of chilling. We are very, very active. So if you haven't caught that vlog, it was a wild one. The West Coast California road trip was just like ticked off the bucket list. I almost feel like I came back and needed a holiday from the holiday, which sounds absurd, I know, but um, I kind of just needed a little bit of time away from the camera and just not to vlog and not to do too much. And I always want to give you guys like my best self. Um, I want you to always feel good coming away from these vlogs. And even though I 100% suffer from that freelancer's guilt of like not making the most of every single second, like I've realized that creative burnout is real and you just need to step back and do nothing and just enjoy the sunshine, enjoy your friends, go out, have a good time and like actually just soak up all of the vibes. You know, I've been on a mad Spotify playlist listening to a lot of music, walking around Williamsburg, watching people and getting inspired. It's gonna be one of those vlogs where I have like random clips from different days over like two and a half weeks. I don't even know what I have. So yes, we're just gonna ease ourselves in with this vlog. It's not going to be, you know, a masterpiece. Anyway, chop, 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 on with our day. I mean, it wouldn't be a vlog. <laughs> the dress. Would you like to explain this? Dress. I mean, you do what you gotta do. <laughs> you got a messy sandwich on your hands. But yeah. Let coffee. Why didn't I get lunch. Lunch. I don't know. We we'll share it. <laughs> Triggered. <laughs> Triggered. Ready. Ready. So we are taking refuge under some lovely foliage. It's raining. We were we're having a good time today. Yeah, today is like a blur. Like it's raining and we've got makeup on, but we don't even care. Like I don't even have a bra on and I'm wearing a white cotton. Whatever, it's whatever. It's whatever and Mercury is well, well. in Mercury, what was I going to say? Retrograde. Yeah. yeah, communication. Can't get it out, can't get Nothing. the words out. Tara's tripping over herself, I'm I've, screaming. My balance has been off, I'm falling all over the place. It's horrendous. It's starting to come to a very real realization. Realization? A real realization? Fuck's sake. Oh, no, it is though. Um, I mean, I didn't want to talk to you about it the other day because I felt like we were both emotional yeah. wrecks the other day. But how many weeks do you have left in New York? Seven. Seven weeks. Seven weeks. And, and they're going to fly as well. They're going to fly. I feel like even just us hanging out in Toby's and getting a coffee and like shooting outfits. It's like coming. It's part yeah. of the vlog. Yeah. It's been part <laughs> it of the vlog. Is every week for oh, like the last since I, know. I would say last October I know and like the time is just flying It'll so by my pulse is now, isn't it oh my god I know I'm not going to go on it too bit too much because <laughs> Ruth will actually cry but um please show Ruth some love in the comments like if you followed her through my videos or you just like seeing her in the video she's a Aww. ray of sunshine in my life thanks so um yeah it's a bit of an end of an era of vibes coming up but we're but, gonna have a great time yeah we are and listen it's like it's an end of an era but it's like what's next is it's exactly. what's exciting it's you know exciting. this has been such a formative time for definitely me and for you as well mm -hmm. and like we've grown so close and it's like what more could you have wanted from us? Yeah, you know. exactly. No, it's been... <laughs> oh, and it's so funny because like me and Ruth are practically from the same town. We live yeah. like two minutes away from each other and we never hung out. No. I feel like we just wasted so many years. I know, you said that last year. Like, we wasted so much time. And I was <laughs> so like, much we time. didn't though, because no, you weren't ready. Like true. it was like you, 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 and also, you meet people when you meet people and you click true. and you click. And it's like, you know. And it's like also like I'm 27 in a couple of months. You're still 26, right? 23. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, 23, looks it anyway. Um, but like, you don't get the chance to make new friendships no, kind of like later no. in your 20s, so it is kind of like refreshing and exactly. exciting and yeah. it's fun and obviously we're going to keep in touch. But like, I wanted to ask you, like you came to New York, I remember we were like job hunting for you, yeah. like you've been through the whole process. Yeah. And there's still a lot of people out there kind of like inspired that want to do this journey as well. And yeah. like, I don't know, what has your New York experience been? 
I feel like my expectation of New York has been exactly what it is. So I didn't really, like when I got here, the whole fuss of like finding a job, I was like, oh no, I'm definitely gonna stay. Like I love it so much. But I feel like when I got the job and I hated it, I was like, oh my God, what am I actually doing? So I got another job and then working with you, I've just kind of found myself and just become really in tune with what I need to do. And I know New York isn't the place where I need to do it. Yeah. So my experience with New York has just been refreshing and so formative. For I me. think it's you, when we were just talking about it in the coffee shop, you said that like, you, just before you came over, you were having a really shit time. Yeah. Yeah. And I so think it's kind of, you I was know, kind of miserable in myself it was a good shift. before I left. Yeah, it was total shift of energy. By the way, it's lashing rain, love this. Yeah. Um, total shift of energy and I'm so confident in myself. I'm so yeah, like, sure of who person. I am. And that's what I wanted from New York. I wanted, I came here with one objective to be so scared that it would shock me into like this person that I know I am. Yeah. And I am. Like I haven't felt this happy since I was a teenager. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's real independence yeah. girl. Woo! Yes! Goals <laughs> achieved. What is up, noisy Tribeca? Yes, I do look like an absolute hag today, but I don't know, I'm just kind of in the mood to vlog. I don't know, I guess you could call it like an average day in Manhattan for me when I'm like not working. So I only really make it into Manhattan maybe once, twice a week if most, living out in sort of Brooklyn slash Queens these days. First thing I'm doing this morning is meeting my good friend Natalia, Natalia number two, who I interned with when I first moved to New York. She's an absolute sweetheart from Greece and uh, we try and catch up every couple of months but it's actually been a year so I'm very excited to see her, see what she's been up to. A little bit of flower shopping with Nat. <laughs> not even 11 and my camera is dead but anyway damn my spot says hello anyway my catch up with Nat was lovely that girl has so much going on for her like I'm just so excited for her life you know what I mean oh my god end of an era top shop in Soho is completely empty I believe they've pulled out of the US completely which is mad I felt like it was such a Soho Broadway Lafayette staple don't tell me I'm gonna be like the only person that can't find something to wear in Zara. All I found is a red t-shirt and I'm supposed to be looking for going out clothes. Woo, successful! I found something in Urban Outfitters. Um, I'm gonna show you in a little bit, but right now I gotta to head to my workout class. Squeezing in a little boxing session at Rumble. Woo. I'm so sweaty, but it's done. And I am back on my bullshit. I have to say I love these bathrooms. Anyone orders where I paid $35 for an exercise class, so I get to hang out and piss away. New battery in the camera, HD, we're back. I did find a dress. I definitely think it's a good style of dress just to have in my wardrobe. So let me show you. I love how light my hair has been with the layers, but the worst thing is, is when they go flicky. Um, anyway, the dress is Urban Outfitters. I mean, it speaks for itself. It's sort of a nude slip dress, I suppose. Um, I wasn't really sure whether this like oatmeal but I think I do like it and the fact that it's this sort of off-white color it's a lot more casual than black I feel like black satin is very like sexy whereas this is sort of like a nice longer length is a bit more daytime appropriate and um, it was a really good price as well like maybe about $50, $50, $60 do feel like I'd be a bit more comfortable in this if I had like high-waisted seamless underwear just to feel a little bit more tucked in but it is satin and the nature of satin is unless you have like a washboard stomach it does show a lot of lumps and bumps you know what fuck it like I'm still gonna wear it and feel good um I also bought one more top which I thought was super cute and another potential option if I don't feel like wearing this dress New York is weird like people don't get super super dressed up to go to the club like you kind of just wear casual clothes and it's totally normal to wear like jeans and a nice top Does anyone else find Kim Kardashian's stories hilarious so you guys Carl's birthday present came it's actually his birthday today which is why I was kind of running around the city a little bit extra hectic because I was also looking for a filler gift in case this present didn't come intriguing looking vintage case and if I pop it oh camera nerds out there will be screaming 
I got him a new 35mm film camera because I just feel like one isn't enough. Like if you want to shoot with different rolls and experiment, it's just better to have two. And uh, this one was beautiful. Ooh, ain't she pretty? Um, one of the directors from the shoot the other day, which you will see in this video at some point, he had this camera and it was very, very cool. And I think it's a brand that Kahal wouldn't have considered. So I think it'll be like enough of a surprise, but it's the Miranda Sensor X EE. Beautiful camera, lovely little case with it. And then the box has two more lenses. So three more lenses all together and like loads of little extras. And oh, look how vintage looking all of this paper looks. I'm obsessed. I'm almost positive he'll be pretty chuffed with that present. Come through my thoughtful Libras. Monday, come at me, my favorite day of the week just for getting back in the swing of routine, getting back on track with everything. One thing that makes it a little bit nicer is I schedule my hungry root orders to come and I am not under any obligation to show this on YouTube, but um, Hungry Root did send me to their boxes. I actually asked them would they, because it just seemed like something I would really like that you guys would really like. So backstory, I have tried a lot of like meal prep kits in the past and I do really like them, but the issue is that they don't really allow like a lot of flexibility. Like if I don't feel like the meals that I picked that week or um, I always find the portions themselves like too big and I always end up actually putting on weight because I always pick the most unhealthy meals. As you guys know, I eat plant-based or kind of vegan for like five days of the week and then I sort of have whatever I want at the weekend it has none of these things in so preservatives artificial ingredients refined sugars trans fats basically it's like all quality ingredients it's giving me a little bit of plant-based inspiration and a kind of just switching things up it's also really quick because a lot of this stuff is pretty much pre-made and you can just decide how you want to eat it i set up my profile preferences right away when i signed up so that i wouldn't get anything i didn't like but some standouts are the black bean brownie batter which you can eat raw or you can bake it i shared that on instagram the cashew cheese sauce was pretty good it's kind of like a vegan alfredo sauce kind of and that was really good with the linguine um the plantain linguine that i got in last week's box you got little toppers like this crunchy carrot lentil mix this chickpea pesto is pretty bomb and you get so much out of them i know they're in plastic packaging but for me at the moment it's better to have things resealable because again it just kind of helps you portion control and puts less pressure in eating everything at once nothing takes more than 10 minutes which is so good i've just been so busy lately and i haven't had as much time to make stuff from scratch as i usually do the birthday week boy has ordered his treat and being extra nice and being his little dessert slave. We actually got two containers of this in the last one, which I did not complain about. And we made a huge, like nine square batch of brownies and this is what's left. So again, they're vegan, really gooey, really nice, like good texture for a brownie. For a vegan brownie, I definitely rate these like a solid nine out of 10. Good morning. It's 5.30 a.m. I have an early call time, so let's pack up our stuff and go, shall we? Based in New Jersey, we are shooting a commercial today. I'm one of the talents for a Sennheiser commercial, which is a professional audio company. So I'm very excited to see how it all comes out. I've seen their previous work with this production team and it's like real, real nice. Haven't had a coffee though, low key dead inside. Let's see how this plays out. Almost ready to shoot. Finally had a minute to chat to you guys. I'm in the bathroom where we were getting ready, some makeup station. Everything went really well. I'm really happy. It was a lot easier than my last sort of commercial shoot that I did. And everyone on set is just super fun and super chill to talk to. And it's been a good time. So my main bit is over now. They're doing two more people and then we got to shoot some b-roll. Got a little makeshift wardrobe change, some options. Got to bring options. Brought my steamer. Had to come prepared. Makeup, shoe situation. <laughs> you get that back. Do it. Do oh it. Oh my gosh. 
Ooh, get in there. Look at that. I'm really holding it really weird too. I don't know how I'm able to eat this. Get those. it in there. Uh, this is like the second setup for me, which is just a bunch of B-roll. I've set it up to make it look like an apartment a little bit. And it's just kind of some B-roll of what I would do at home basically, which is film myself. How cute. Ignore the reflector, but everything else is very cute. Say hello. Hi guys. <laughs> Excuse the mess, but uh, we have makeup on. We have a dress on. I mean, who is she? That's how I know this Reformation dress was a good one because I've wanted to wear it twice in a month. But I have a pretty exciting uh, evening ahead. I plan date night tonight. It's a pretty fun one. We haven't done like a proper, proper um, kind of out of the norm date night in a while so i'm excited to take you along all will become very clear but we're going for dinner and then we're going to see a show it's supposed to be some kind of like magic slash puzzle evening i don't know it just sounded fun so i booked it so we're going to go off to that tonight as usual i'm late so let's go become evident that I am below average at puzzles. Out here hanging with the ancient portraits, what's new? We are just out of the show. For those inept in the puzzle field, like myself, um, it was very, very approachable. It was kind of a little bit magic, a little bit entertainment, and the presenter, David Kwong, I think his name was, was really funny. Different thing to do in New York, a little bit quirky. Do you guys have any more recommendations along this lines of like just something a little bit different to do for date night, let me know in the comments below. Happy 4th of July for anyone celebrating. Ooh, so windy, but this is Rockaway Beach. I've never actually been to this beach before. I've been to like Far Rockaway, Long Beach, Coney Island, but if my memory serves me correctly, I think this might be my favorite one. I don't know if it's because it's Sunday, it's a little bit more chill. Um, this one has a really nice vibe to it. Even like all of the businesses here are like, super cute and like are offering something a little bit different than like just hot dogs and burgers. Hat is ASOS, which I'm struggling to keep on my head. I'm wearing W Concept dress, um, a Tao bikini, which you know I love, but I have it in the black now. on these holidays. I never quite know what to do with myself because, you know, people either make like big upstate plans or they get really drunk at like a party and like, I don't know, I get a bit of like social anxiety about like making plans. In the end, we just ended up taking it super chill, like having a big sort of stranger thing Netflix binge long weekend. It was actually just so nice to just do feck all and really feel like it was a long weekend. Be start of retrograde season everyone. Mine's going swimmingly, already broke a nail at boxing. <laughs> Honestly, I am so sensitive to retrograde energy. I feel like I can smell it in the air like two weeks before. Um, and if you're one of those people that really feel affected by it, I know it's one of those things that's kind of thrown around in astrology memes and all of that. It's so funny that we're talking about Mercury retrograde because I'm even having trouble like speaking and getting my words and thoughts on this topic out of my mouth today. Um, so bear with me. But I really do feel when retrogrades happen, things just go out the window, miscommunications happen. Um, you can be a bit emotional and things just may not feel right. Mercury retrograde is definitely one of those like terms that's thrown around and if you don't understand it and you don't see how it can help you rather than hinder you um, it kind of sounds like a scary time and it really doesn't have to be at all don't get me wrong it's still a time that i avoid buying electronics that don't have insurance and i avoid sort of situations where like oh i might drop my laptop or i might smell something like basically the point of retrograde is just to slow down be careful think about what you say before you say it just pull back and be a little bit more aware of absolutely everything you do during the day or during like the retrograde time it's just kind of like a bit of a, 
a reset to not become careless with yourself, your belongings, the people in your life. Personally, what I found has been really, really helpful for me is just releasing, trying to have control and almost just seeing retrograde as this wave, this like whoosh of water that comes in and out and instead of trying to fight it, just go with it. So yes, nothing to be scared of and that did take me almost 10 blocks of walking to get all of that out and I still don't even think I made my point clearly and concisely but hey. I also tend to do like a lot of reflection as you've noticed I haven't been uploading very much I've just been very like thinking inwardly of what I want to do oh I'm gonna go make some notes on my phone because I'm a millennial I do not have a pen and paper it's